Welcome back, Love Nation. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to definitely make sure my Love Nation has a story put out there. And please share this video. So on the left, you have a veteran police officer. On the right, you have a veteran criminal. And apparently she um, helped him escape uh, prison. And I'm going to play the video so you guys can get up to date. And I'm going to come back with my commentary on the situation. Scheduled to stand trial for capital murder charges related to the 2015 death of Connie Ridgway this summer. But last Friday, he escaped, forcing Ridgway's family, including her son Austin Williams, through a roller coaster of emotions. My feelings have been coming all over the place, just adrenaline and stress and, and just, you know, not, not sleeping really well. White's violent criminal history dates back to at least 2010. Court documents allege he beat his brother in the face and head with an axe sledge hammer handle, landing him in prison in 2012. He was released nearly four years later. And in October 2015, Connie Ridgway was murdered in her apartment in Lauderdale County, Alabama. Police questioned White at the time, but did not charge him. And just months later, in December, White went on a crime spree that included a home invasion, carjacking, and a police chase. He was indicted on 15 counts in March 2016 and later convicted on seven of those charges, including attempted murder and robbery. He was sent to prison with his first possibility of parole in 2061. But in 2020, Lauderdale County District Attorney says White admitted to killing Connie Ridgway. He was then brought to Lauderdale County Detention Center to be arraigned on murder charges in October 2020. White pleaded not guilty, and that's where he is believed to have met and started his relationship with corrections officer White. While there, deputies discovered White was allegedly planning an escape that included taking a hostage. He was sent back to prison. He was immediately returned back to the Department of Corrections. Uh, he was brought back to our facility in, on February 25th of this year. We do know and have confirmed that they were in touch via phone. Uh, during that two-year period while he was in prison and uh, she was still working here. White was placed on the most restrictive custody level, housed in a single cell, restrained and accompanied by armed guards at all times. Sheriff Singleton says White was brought back to the Lauderdale County Detention Center in February, where Officer White worked ahead of the trial for the Ridgeway murder. Inmates have come forward with new information about the two of them. They were saying he was getting special treatment. He was uh, getting privileges, uh, getting extra food on his tray that Vicki White was seeing that, that he got that other inmates weren't getting. Austin Williams says there should have been extra eyes on Casey White and anyone who was associating with him. Now he's worried more people could be hurt by White while he's on the run. I, I mean, really, no one's in sa safe who's in contact with him. I mean, he, he could snap at any, any moment. He could just snap at anything, and that's, that's it. All right, so you guys saw that story, and quite frankly, I am horrified. It is more than apparent to me that this career criminal, and I want you guys to really take a look at this, because right now, as of the making of this video, they are still on the loose. He clearly took advantage of her, and not only do I personally believe her life is in danger, I believe that... You know, when they, uh, when the U.S. Marshals or any other law enforcement catch up with them, I do believe that this may escalate seriously. If she is still with us, I'm hoping that she is still with us. And I'm praying that there is a peaceful res resolution for this. I want you guys to share this video because clearly this man took advantage of her to get out of prison. Um, he obviously was never going to see the light of day. And as usual, as with what a lot of men do, taking advantage of women, um, telling them things, gaining their trust. This situation, although it is very dangerous, is no different than what a lot of men do to take advantage of women. And in this case, he took advantage of her to try to ensure that he would get out of prison uh, he had everything to gain in the situation and she has already lost everything in this situation. I hope that this comes to a positive, peaceful resolution. If you guys see Vicki White or Casey White, please do not approach. Please contact officials. 
again, please keep in mind that he is six feet nine inches. He is very noticeable. He has very distinguishable tattoos. He could probably change his hair color and etc. And even go as far as to maybe put a wig on, but he cannot hide that height unless he is, say, um, in a wheelchair. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Or maybe he has crutches, so you guys can't tell how tall he is. But at six nine, he cannot hide from that height. And I think that that may actually help people. So I'm saying this because this woman is in danger. And I'm really praying that she comes back. I know that he prayed on her, regardless of her profession. I really want people to be on the lookout for this. And like I said, I hope that she can come back to her family. Obviously, she will be facing some type of of charges and etc. And I understand that because she did break the law. However, I want all of my female, um, you know, love nation to really look out and pray that she is found safe because obviously he prayed on her. And for her to have the background and experience, he definitely played on her emotions Got her to put her house up for sale so she can have cash. She didn't have getaway cars stashed in places. She managed to walk him out of jail. This man was already looking at not even having a parole hearing until like 2060. So he definitely had nothing to lose by preying on her vulnerabilities. So again... I want you guys to share this video, and if you see them, uh, and again, he is 6'9", she is 5'4", so they will definitely stand out. Please call 911 and do not approach, do not ask questions, do not appear to be too curious about this, because again, this man has nothing to lose, and... Like I said, this is just all the way sad, all the way around. Um, if you're not comfortable uh, contacting um, authorities, you're welcome to leave a comment on my page and leave information there, and I'll do it for you. So, again, um, I just want to put the story out there. This woman's life is in danger. He clearly preyed on her, and through everything she had away for this man that did and said all the right things, praying on her vulnerabilities as a woman. And I hope that she is found safe. I'm really praying for a peaceful resolution to this. Um, this is just absolutely heartbreaking to me, just as a, a, a female, because... I feel that I, I think she had a clear understanding that this man could be um, on a level to do whatever he could to try to get away with things. I think that he told her everything she wanted to hear, probably told her he loved her, probably told her everything would be better when he could get out and show her love, but I think that he used the situation. He's using her for everything that he has. They allegedly have recently been, um, there's evidence that they were possibly in Indiana, so all my love nation in Indiana and this Mideast uh, belt, you know, please be on the lookout again. This woman's life is in danger. And like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up on this story. I'm just hoping for the best resolution. And like I said, any tips, if you're not comfortable contacting 911, you're free to get a hold of me and leave a comment, and I will contact you. Until next time, you guys, like, share, and subscribe. Be safe. Bye, guys.